Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to another installment in the Quick View series. This is like a Quick View adjacent because we've pretty much already done this. Uh, this is not a uh, Deluxe Drive Tech. This is, it's still not focusing. Ah, is anybody following the, sa the saga of my bench camera not focusing? This is what we've been calling a Chav Tech, a fake Drive Tech. That happens to be a 115 millimeter version. Uh, over here in the drawer, what do we got? What do we got? We've got some as yet unbuilt 75 millimeter versions coming up for another build. We've used 105s, we've used 95s. Um, I think, I think in Pokemon terms, we may have caught them all. We might have used all of them. And as one would anticipate, the quality is all over the place. It's all over the place. Not just the quality, but the actual orient the way that they're set up. Can we can we get it? Can we pull a focus here? If you see down there, there's your usual snap ring. The snap ring that we for, with which we would use our uh, our channel lock 926 is to assemble, just like a big bore, just like a genuine draft tech. Sometimes they don't come with that. Sometimes they come with just a little threaded retainer that has no method of removal like you're like how did they get that in there i don't know how they got it in there i know what i do i know what i do i have saved over here in a little drawer i have two items so we're gonna we're gonna go into the cost benefit analysis of the the, the pretty boys uh the fake drav tech with the offset cap these are 115s so they come with a 50 millimeter spring uh, the 50 millimeter spring is pretty much the same stiffness. They, they come with two grades of springs. We'll get to that. Offset cap. They also include the regular cap. They come packed in the thing with the regular cap. So you're getting two types of caps, but these right here, which all I had to change on those was pistons, as we've always had to, and the seal kit. So Trax is 2362 and Trax is 2669. That will replace your pistons and that will replace all your seals. These are drilled two hole pistons filled with 40 weight oil. And the, the, the damping is perfectly acceptable. Maybe a hair under damped for a vehicle of the weight that these came off of. These do indeed come with pistons, actual pistons. So you get a little bit slower on the damping right there. Now, is it important that they come with pistons? Four slot pistons. Pistons that look like this. I mean, yes. Yeah, that's 10 bucks. Well, it's five bucks that you gotta spend on, pin uh, on pistons, 250 a pack. So with these, you don't have to buy pistons. That is running 70 weight oil. I think you're probably comfortable anywhere between 60 and 100. Now, that said, if you don't already have uh, an entire platoon of oils or your oils stop at a certain point it's going to be cheaper for you to buy pistons and run a la and run lighter oil the Traxxas two hole pistons are really good around 300 CST uh, I drill the two hole pistons out to 1.5 millimeter and I run them with 516 CST otherwise known as 40 weight these are running 70 weight which is 900 CST so triple what we would run on that on a three hole. So this is 40 weight on a drilled two hole, and this is 70 weight on a four slot. See, they're, they're pretty close. Now, heavier oils will leak out more slowly, so possible advantage. The bodies, as I mentioned, threaded retainer, and what I do is I have, I have an old hinge pin. This is an old hinge pin from something Traxxas and I've made two notches in it. I make those two notches in it, I insert it into this when the shock has been taken apart, and that allows me to make two, to set two dimples using a punch, and then I drill those with, good luck focusing on this, with the smallest bit that will fit inside my drill press, which is one millimeter, and I drill them about that deep. Probably two and a half millimeters deep. This allows me to use my snap ring plier, which I have for all others, to uh, insert and set the seal base. And we're gonna loosen this one. 
because you can do this more like a traditional, like an associated element shock would have you. Because I can loosen that, see we're way loosened out if we would focus, we're way loosened out. That way, when we insert this through there, we, we have a, a less of a chance of snagging a seal. So it is the, the skinny spacer, two seals, two X seals from the 2362, the usual stuff to put them together. Now what I did notice when assembling these, and as I said, your results may vary. You, 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 your odds, what you get as your retainer, whether it be this threaded guy or whether it be snap rings, uh, no one can say. You won't know until you get them. You can snug that down. They do feel... Okay, I want you to listen. I don't know if I have anything that will... There's a definite machining... There's machining grooves on the insides of the body. Now, I don't know if that's explicitly critical because the, these are not drilled pistons. These are slotted pistons. So as was mentioned, the slots are around the outside edges. That generally, when we see slotted, that means we're gonna be running heavier weight oil anyway. And those are pretty big slots. Those are like two millimeter slots. So as I said, we're gonna go 70 weight. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bust it out. So there might we might get an air bubble or two. We're we're, we're willing to risk it. For these, you want to go less high than I just went. We've got full meniscus there, and that's gonna make it longer. It's gonna take longer for the air bubbles to get out. So what we'll do is we'll set that over here to the side for a moment while we talk about something else. So. If you don't have the ability, if you don't have the tooling and the capacities to pop one of these open to get the seals out, if someone in the comments has figured out how to get that threaded retainer out without drilling for use with a 926, I would love to know. Because I fear that in the future, more and more of these are going to come with the threaded retainer and not with the E-clip. I was genuinely, genuinely surprised that these had the snap ring. Some, sometimes they, it's not an E-clip, sometimes we call it a C-clip. Anyway, the snap ring. I prefer snap rings, they're a lot easier, but the threaded guy's not bad because you can set preload on your seals. And by setting preload on your seals, you can make them leak maybe potentially slightly less. One thing definitely worthy of note, because we have to take cost benefit analysis into account here, these cost twice as much as these. $20 a pair, $10 a pair. So these are $20 a set plus the seals, uh, which is usually about $10 worth of seals and pistons. So that's $30 for the set. These are $40 for the set, but all you have to do is replace the seals, sometimes the springs. Not necessarily, the, you could do the pistons, but you don't have to. So that takes those to $45. Ignoring tax, shipping, Etc. Etc. Oddly, and this come because you're going to have to replace the bladders as well. Those come in the 2362, so that's not a problem. That none of the I've yet to see one with a bladder in it. That is just a flat, like your uh, I don't know silicone, like just a silicone disc punched out of a sheet of silicone. Uh, that's not a bladder, so it's not going to perform as a bladder. And then most quizzically, this is the first time I've seen this. Phillips head holding that in. Do we have to change that? No. Are we going to change that? A hundred percent. I will go to great lengths to ensure that my vehicles are not fitted in any way with Phillips head hardware. Uh, luckily, it is a coarse thread. It is like a like a sheet metal thread on those. So when you thread in an M3x8, it still, it still snugs up nice and tight. I bought these, I mean, on the one hand, because Oil slick, who doesn't love oil slick? On the other hand, offset caps. Those of you who have had to buy offset caps for whatever build you're doing, you know what it costs for four offset caps from Deluxe, and uh, they, they throw them in. So we do have to factor that into the cost. You get two sets of caps. 
you can throw those also caps on some uh, on some big boards uh, and make them look fancy. But I wanted offset caps. I wanted the oil slick. So I was like, we'll spend the money. One pound per inch for the 50 millimeter. They come with an, uh, an, a second pair. They come packed nicely in a little foam container that looks like it should hold uh, jigsaw bits. Uh, these are 1.6 pounds per inch, which is fairly stiff, if memory serves, and it often does. Uh, they are one pound per inch in like the, say the 85 and 95 length. One pound per inch comes installed, and they also have 1.2s. And uh, I haven't, I've never had to use the 1.2s or, or the 1.6s. We are fitting the vehicle in question here with the 1.0s. These are 0.8s, so we're not going to have too much rate because we're using the offset cap at the top to effectively lay the shock down more while not having the benefit of more shock positions. Also, I think worthy of note, when fitting these with the offset ends, you will reduce the overall length of the shock by about seven millimeters, give or take. I tend to thread my bottom ends on as far as they will go until they stop. Uh, most manufacturers will just stop where the thread ends. Um, I'm not, that, that's not, that's not good enough for me. So we, what we do is the piston is at about halfway. We'll press the bladder down and then we'll pull it down and hold it down. We'll wipe the big amount of excess off because now the shock is being held under pressure. You can hold it upside down and nothing's going to happen because that bladder is pulled effectively all the way in. So that is how we're going to, and oh, and very important to note, don't over tighten the offset caps. The offset caps give you too much leverage. Ordinarily, what I do is I grab them in our trusty shock pliers and I give this a, a good couple turns. I had one almost start to cross thread off while assembling it because it's thin. Uh, the tolerances are not to the same level that we're used to when we're buying like a genuine drive tech. So you can't, you could break these. You could break the caps. Go a little gentle on the cap. Unless you're using the straight caps, then I'm pretty sure you can just tighten those straight down because you can't exert as much force on them. Pliers, shock pliers on one or the other. You can either put shock pliers on the body or you can put shock pliers on the cap, but don't put it on both because you'll they don't need to be down that tight. So I keep going, I go, I go, and then we'll feel a point where it goes and basically stops. Also, very important to note, uh, when they cloned the Traxxas rod ends, they cloned it all the way down to the ball. These are Traxxas 5.7 by 6.3. If you have anything double shear, these are not going to fit. Uh, those date back to the 1980s. So you're just going to, what I tell everybody, whatever shocks are on your vehicle now, pop the hollow balls out of those, pop them into these. And then you will end up with a massive drawer filled with uh, 5.7 by 6.3s because you don't really have anything to fit them on. So this is part experiment. I wanted to see if there were qualitative differences between the $20 a pair and the $10 a pair. That servo is not in good health. And I mean, honestly, in terms like if you do this, and then we look at this. No, 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 no waggle at all there. Standard tracks of seal pack in there. I can feel the rasp. And there's a tiny little bit. That piston does not quite fit into the bore as good as a Traxxas pinion, as a Traxxas piston does. So it's all, it's all trades. We're, we're, we're trading, we're, we're constantly making sacrifices, one of the other. We're, we've made a sacrifice for vanity here, obviously. I think performance-wise, I don't think that we're going to get leaking. 
So I think they're going to hold oil just as well as the as the fakes, as the Chavtex. Now, that said, those with experience will know that it is... Think of it as a world without quality control. Because some of them will leak, and some of them won't, and some of them will leak more than others. And you don't know what you've got until you've got it. So, I have some that don't leak, like virtually, virtually no leaking at all. I have some that leak out of places that can only be explained by by not paying full attention to tolerances. Like this one, this has been in service for a while. There's no dirt and no stuff up in there. There's no oil down here at the bottom. There's no oil up around the cap. This one is A-OK. -okay. One of them that I pulled off had a mud ring around here. So it's squeezing oil out somehow. Maybe the bladder didn't seat right. Maybe the very top of the shock isn't completely round. These are all potential possibilities when it comes to shocks of this price point. So let's just uh, step out of the autofocus and, and roll that beautiful bean footage where you've got to ask yourself, do I have the time, the tooling, and the knowledge to turn these into an operable shock. It's not that difficult, but, well, with the snap ring ones, you buy some pliers and you're done. With these, short of drilling the holes, I don't explicitly know how other people are doing it. I don't know how to remove that thing. The first thing that popped into my head was get on the drill press, drill two holes in each one so we can remove them and replace them with snap ring pliers. And it works, but I know that it's not an option for everyone. So if the shocks show up and they have threaded retainers, you go, hmm, the included seals will leak badly. You can mount them upside down, which will help slow that down, but you're going to need to put bladders in them anyway. So what I'm saying is if you can't take them apart, it's probably best to just, like I said, 45 bucks for these which is within $10 of a set of TRA 2662s, the long, extra, extra long big bores, but not really, because the extra long big bores won't have cups or springs. These are still a value, even at $20 a pair, provided you can and will do the work to get them to perform. Yes, yes. If you wanna save money, just pick one of the other colors uh, a color that you like and be prepared for the exact same amount of labors but the motivation for these is both the color and the inclusion of the offset caps the color got me the offset caps sold me so here they are and there they go um, I, odd with the orange springs I don't mind the orange springs but the ones that come on the on the regular color, like the orange one you saw earlier, uh, those just come with black springs. So the two specs is interesting. They're all 50 millimeter on the 115 shock. So these mount, as I said, to right around 108, about seven millimeters shorter. I'm fine with that. If I wasn't, I would have uh, put a longer rod end to bring them back to 115. But with the offset cap, you're getting the same amount of up travel, but in a shorter shock, which is okay. So it's going to hold you lower, but you'll have the same amount of up travel. So there are pluses and minuses. I understand that not everyone has drab tech money. I understand that not everyone wants to spend drab tech money. And if that is your case, then I am right there with you. I can't afford to put drab techs on everything. And uh, nor do I think I would want to, because these are economical and effective. So we're gonna, and, they, and they keep giving us more options, which is great. So they're right there in, in the running with the conventional fake draft tech, the crawler shock of Amazon and AliExpress fame, because the cost really isn't that much higher. Do remember, if you don't have your whole flotilla of oils, uh, probably cheaper to buy TRA 2669 and run the two hole with 300 CST 
or the three hole with about 50 weight, which is, what is 50 weight in CST? Uh, 25 weight is 275, so it'd be 550. So about 550 CST, like I said, these are filled with 900. And uh, we will see if they do the thing in some future installment, testing a tire or what have you. Uh, this happened to be the guy that is on the bench at the time because he needed the shocks. But remember how I couldn't do this? Uh, the, uh, the, the multiple times repaired 50 kg, I think, has been repaired for the last time. Or that pin broke again because uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, there should be like gear noises. So Wolverine and I, we thank you for dropping by. We hope that we've provided some insight into another version of cheap shocks because even at $45 a pair, I mean, $45 a set, pardon me, $45 a pair used by drive techs, at $45 a set, still not bad. Still not bad. And two sets of springs and two sets of caps. It's a value. If you don't like oil slick, I don't think they come with the two cap sets in other colors. Learn to embrace the oil slick. While you're doing that learning to embrace, please do tune in for whatever we have next. In between now and that inevitable time, please one and all do your very best to have a good one, everybody. We will see you again here from the canyon where it is 106 degrees outside. And I didn't turn my swamp car on until too late, so it's 90 degrees in the building. Hopefully it'll be cooler next time, and we will see you then.